Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to save some travel time with your Roland BN2. Did you ever wish that the printhead didn't have to go all the way from here to here when your job is only here to here? I'm going to show you the trick to do just that, and you are going to have your mind blown on how much time this saves. Let's go. First thing that you want to do is click um, into your DG Connect hub and go to open. So this is going to open the utility, which if it's not opening, it's probably because it is hidden behind, which mine is, what you have. So um, we are going to start by going into just one material setup and I'm going to select my material. So the material that I'm going to select first is this metallic holographic vinyl. So this is my 15 inch wide roll of Roland metallic vinyl. So this material only comes in a roll of 15 inches, 15 inch wide. All right. So we'll click okay. And yes, I have, um, it's all set up. So we will click okay. All right, once we have the material loaded and it's sent telling us output possible, by going into this hamburger menu and scrolling down, printing movement range. So this has to do with where the print head is going. So if you have a print head that, or if you have a material that's only 15 inches wide, you don't need the print head to go the extra five inches. So you can change this to say media width or output data width. So if your output is only one five inch sticker, maybe you only want your print head to go five inches. That would save you a lot of time from going all the way across every single time. Or maybe you're using a 15 inch sheet of material like this holographic and you do have the full width of that set to, or you do have the uh, designs, images, to print and cut on that entire thing, but instead of it going the full width of the 20 inch that it's capable of, you just are going to change it to media width. So media width is only going to limit the print head to the width of the media. Output is going to limit the, the movement of the print head based on the data or the image that you have sent. So either one of those will, are going to save you a lot of time from basically travel time. All right, so you can change that. Keep in mind these changes that we're making are only applicable per material. So you're gonna have to go into all your other materials and change them if you want, okay? And then again, click apply. Want a few more secret hidden tricks for your Roland BN2? I've got those too, so check out this video for a couple more.